Okay, here's what we're looking for. These dead standing birch. And they're full of conks. These little growths coming off of here. Anywhere you find this birch or cottonwood, dead standing, when it's moist out, and that's where you're going to find them. I see some more up the way there too. I gotta go investigate. Saw these from far away. Thought I hit the jackpot on the oysters. Turns out to be conks. Broken off. Dead standing, boy, this is what holds them. Not today. This is what they call a birch bleat. That's a birch bleat right there. It's a big boy. Finding lots of bleats. Lots of good bleats out here. There's another birch bleat. Cute little dude. There's another one. Yeah, let's see how well that one's, what kind of shape that one's in. Yeah, looking decent. Yeah. King Belit, Birch Belit. Looks like some more Birch Belits here. Problem is, they uh, the worms get to them pretty fast. If you don't get them young, then there's not much there to harvest. Uh, we'll see how these look. Yeah, the undersides look pretty good. The squirrels have been biting them right here, living off them. This one's pretty far gone. We'll harvest this one. Some more bleats. There's a nice one. Oh yeah. Beauty. Undersides like a sponge. Top sides dry. And you know they're safe. Gorgeous. Okay, we got some oyster mushrooms here. This is a standing dead birch. Yeah, and you have to use a knife to cut it off along the outside edge. You'll get some bark in it, and it comes right off. There he is. You'll notice it's the underside gills go right into the stem and they smell like licorice Let me see. Like, like, yes let's show this there we go it's a nice harvest pretty cool ray missed one there's one higher up on the tree here Beauties. Little beauties. First of many. All right. Found some more oyster mushrooms here. This boy's looking just a little bit funky on the top here, a little white. So I was thinking that might be fungus growing on it or something. We'll get her off and take a look. See what we're dealing with. Oh, it's a heavy one, too. Yeah, there's a lot of weight to that. How's it look on the underside? Oh, it looks beautiful. Just starting to dry out a little bit, but oh, it'll yeah. still be good. Nice. I good we'll find, Rusty. It. Thank you, sir. Well, here's some small oyster mushrooms, but uh, they've already dried out. They're already a little bit old. 
Another little dude. Uh, we'll see if we can harvest them anyway. Okay. All right, we were walking through here and we found a little cluster on the back side of this tree. An old birch dead. These are a little dried out, but you can continue the drying process mm -hmm. and still get the flavor out of them. Again, the gills go all the way into the stem. Right. They're not too bad. I mean, yeah, they're just starting shape. to dry out. Yeah, those look pretty good. But there should be some more in this area, too. Where you find one, you find more. All right, we found some chaga right up here growing out of the side of this tree. I'm going to cut it off with this saw. Then you dry it out. It's a medicinal mushroom parasite that grows on the side of standing old growth birch. These are kind of young, but right. it's definitely chaga. So let me cut it. And it's a tea? What do you do with it? You make a tea. Um, you grind it, and mm -hmm. you dry it, and you make a tea out of it. So it's hard and woody underneath. Yeah, it's softer than a burl. Now it should be tan on the inside. Yep. And it's color. There she is. Is that the right color? Yep. So you it's dry it out. And you make a tea out of this. You make a tea out of it. And you use that tea for cancer prevention. You Alaskan you whoop. Berry. You Alaskan wood hippies, you know what to do with this stuff. And see it was softer than wood. Softer than a burl. Yeah. So you use the whole thing or just the outer part of it? Use the whole thing. Do you? The guy I get it with, he puts it through a wood chipper, uh -huh. chips it up, and then grinds it up. Okay. So basically the sawdust of the whole thing. Right. Oh, and that's what you make it out of coffee. Here, hold that yeah. up for me. There you go. So how long will this last? Definitely, you dry it once it's dried. Really? I mean, the, for making tea. Well, I use two scoops just like I do my coffee. Mm -hmm. And then uh, keep putting adding water to it. Keep adding water to it. Keep adding water to it until it starts to get um, washed out. And then you're done. Nice. But that's chaga, medicinal mushroom right there. Oh, man. Found some more huge king bolites in the yard. Let's see how they look. Let's check this out. Oh yeah, they're huge. Look at the size of that thing. That's a good one. Now let's check the next one. Oh yeah. Cut him off. Oh, monstrous. Oh yeah, barbecue time right there. Just picked this massive king bolete right in the yard. Monstrous. We'll have him with dinner. Woohoo! Fresh mushrooms. Woohoo! Oh yeah, looking good. Okay, yeah, I got oyster mushrooms, I've got king bolites, and birch bolites. Delicious. And to finish with a little bit of baked salmon with some garlic bread, now we're ready to roll.